All right guys, before we start today's video, I was walking in my neighborhood uh, here a couple days back and I saw something kind of cool that I want to share with you guys, so check this out. So I spotted this when I was out walking. It's just a couple houses from me. Check this out. Look at that big old wasp nest right there. Look at that. Big old wasp nest. Right in one of my neighbor's bushes here. That is really cool. Look at that right there. Got like a couple of guards it looks like. I'm trying to figure out what kind of bees those are. Let's see if one will come out here. We can get a good look at them. See that right there? It almost looks like, it reminds me of like a black yellow jacket. Look at that. Yeah, it totally reminds me of almost like a black yellow jacket. They don't have like the dangly legs like, like a wasp would. Oh, there's a big one just flew in there. They've definitely noticed me. They're like, what the heck's going on? I'll bet you there are probably 30 or 40 of them in there. I'd bet money on it. What is going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. That was kind of a weird finger of high adventure to be honest with you. Oh, hot one here in South Carolina today. I have changed into the long sleeve shirt because we're getting ready to head all the way back there to the wooded area. And we're going to do a little more exploring on the back of my property because I just haven't gone back there a lot recently. I actually have not gone all the way back to see what in the world is like all the way back uh, to the fence line. So today, that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna see what the heck is all the way back there. So if you guys watched my snake hunting video, uh, you know that I ride around on this massive piece of land that I purchased here in South Carolina on my riding mower. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that said riding mower gave up the ghost here about two weeks ago. So I give to you the Cub Cadet. Look at this beauty. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. We're gonna be able to go a little faster, I think, than half a mile an hour on this bad boy. A lot of people here in the South, they have a golf cart to get around. I don't have a golf cart, but we have a brand new yellow Cub Cadet. That's how we're gonna get around today. Let's go ahead and get her fired up and we'll get back there and start hunting around. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, the seat is super springy. Watch, it'll start with one click here. Okay, never, start on the second click. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about right there. That is exactly what we needed here. So here we are back here, got a nice little creek running through the back. And what we're gonna be exploring today, we're, I think we'll go and look at the creek a little bit. See if maybe we get lucky, find another snake or something like that. But uh, I wanna go beyond the creek. I wanna look way back there and see, uh, see what there is to see. Oh, wait a second. I forgot my boots, hold up. Gotta jump on the mower, be right back. All right, huh, here we go. Got my like almost knee high boots on here. Always wear those when I'm tromping around in the woods or in the water or anything, just because a lot more creepy crawlies and slithery things here in the south than where I was in Idaho. You know, I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna walk this creek, see if there are any snakes cooling themselves off. It's pretty hot today, it's like, 92, 93, the heat index is probably upper 90s. It is a warm day. I'm already pretty well soaked in these long sleeves here. 
But last time I found my snake, I actually just heard it slithering through all the dry stuff. I just heard crunching and cracking in the dry stuff. So we'll keep our eyes and ears open. I need a bigger snake though. The last snake that I ate was just like at two feet long. It wasn't really fat, didn't get a lot of meat off of it. So I need me a big fat copperhead this time. So when I'm looking, I also have to keep an eye on the trees because I've seen several snakes fall out of the trees. I don't know what kind they are. I don't know if they're the poisonous kind, if they're just water snakes, but I've seen it happen several times, both on the lake and when I've been back here. I don't have a light with me, but that'd be a great place for something to curl up back there. Sewer pipe. All right, so there's nothing down that way. So we're gonna go ahead and start heading up the creek a little bit. See if there's anything this way at all. Check that out, another big drain pipe. Can't tell me there's gotta be stuff hiding in there sometimes. Wow, man, you could like totally just crawl in that. That's probably like four feet wide. Huh. Oh, there's a deer. There's a deer up here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get close enough. It's a big old deer. It's like a little concrete dam. More trash. Someone's cooler. Now check this out guys. Look at this. A wallet. Wow, look at that. Chick-fil-A. Sephora. Wow. Almost looks like somebody's gone through it. Sonic. Sonic. McAllister's. Regal. There's something else here. What is this? $10 gift card to Amazon. Wow. Let's just see if any of these work. If there's still any money on them. So you guys can see there's no ID on it. No cash. Like, like a leather wallet. And what's this? Oh, there's a Starbucks there potentially too. Crazy. Well, that's a score. Wow. All kinds of gift cards. We'll see. I'm totally interested to see now if any of that works. That'd be awesome. I'm thinking somebody probably stole this. And then uh, there are some places of business over here. My guess is they just hucked it down this way once they either found the cash or didn't find what they were looking for. Huh. Guys, check this out. Look at this. There is a hole in the bank, and I've seen a lot of these holes in the bank. But this looks like fresh. I don't know if my GoPro picks this up. But you see, it like this looks like it's been recently been like dug out and there's a hole right down here what would do that anybody know what a frog would like i don't know a rodent the sediment down here has been like freshly laying down everything else is dark then you've got this light sediment here that leads from this hole that's crazy What in the world is this? Holy cow. A backpack. Good grief. What in the world? Oh my goodness. What is this? A bunch of Sharpies? What is this? Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. Holy cow. What? What? That's... Does it turn on? If this turns on, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my goodness. It's got 28... 28% battery. Oh my gosh. Who... This, see, now this doesn't make any sense. Who would steal a backpack? and then not keep that. That 
is nuts. Guys, this is crazy. What else is in here? Make sure there are no like snakes in the backpack or anything. Got great work, no mess. Let's get lost. Good vibes. Got a nice flask there. Anything in the front pack? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. How do you open it up? That's what I want to know. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. It's got all kinds of like... It's just a big old multi-purpose tool. <laughs> Holy cow. Like, if this was a stolen backpack, why would you not take this up? Look at this. Big old switchblade. Good grief. I mean, that's a nice blade right there. Get it closed there. Good night. Anything else? What's this? Red eye hydration comfort. Dawn. He's got like some sort of thank you note in there. Dawn. For all you do, keep killing it, dude. April. Has he got, oh, he's got some ear pods or whatever the heck these. Oh, man. It's, look at that. See that? The green light just turned on. Dudes, this has been a recently like stolen backpack. Those are still good, I guarantee it. These are like, these Apple, yeah, these are Apple. I think these are like a hundred plus dollars, aren't they? Look, you can charge it in the bottom. I don't even own a pair of these. Whoa. Dude, someone's straight missing this backpack. Man, there are some flip turn. There are some straight treasures in here, man. Holy cow. So let me look at this again. I'm gonna take a picture of that name and I'm gonna see if I can find him on social media and see if we can get all this stuff returned to him because this is, I mean, this is this is one of those Apple, this is a Mac, what is this, a MacBook? It's a MacBook. I mean, this is, uh, you know, this is well over $1,000 right here and it's that like pink gold or the rose gold color. Like that is a nice computer. I love this, the <laughs> ton of Sharpies in here. Dude loves himself some Sharpies. That is cool. Go ahead and take that with us. We've still got some river to explore though here. Let's see. Man, guys, this is crazy. I'm kind of excited to see if we find any more stuff. Whoa, hold up. What is this? We got more stuff. Look at this. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely like some somebody's like stealing stuff and just throwing it back here. What is this? The Protestant Reformation. All kinds of junk. Gotta be careful what I'm picking through too because I don't know what could be in some of these bags if this is like homeless people stuff here. Well, looks like we have reached the source of the water. That pool over there through the trees. No snakes. Let's go ahead and make our way back and actually explore our area beyond the creek here. Huh, I wonder if that tire's any good. Oof, no, definitely not. All right, guys, check this out. I was on my way back. I noticed some more trash up here. Look, there's another backpack. There's another backpack up here. Oh, check this out. Check it. Whoa. Oh man, this has been here a long time. They're like spider's webs. Look at that. Ugh. I kind of don't want to open it, but I think we should. Let's go open it up. Oh man, this one's been here a while for sure. What's this? Like a headlamp? Check that out. Seems like a nice headlamp. <laughs> it's creepy. I already see spiders crawling around in there and I'm just like, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm definitely not reaching in there and put it that way. Now this one's been closed. What's this? What, whoa, wait, what's this? It's a shaving set? Holy cow, look at this. It says $170. What in the world? What's the brand? Baby Bliss, Bay Bliss Pro, Rose FX, another headlamp. Ugh. 
kind of don't want to touch any of this. Wait, what's this? There's a lanyard in here or something. Oh, he's got something in here. Blade modifier. Whoa. Like fancy grooming products here. Good grief. Anything else? This dude up dude straight up like to shave. Look, there's an old one. What else is in here? I don't know what the heck that is. Yeah, uh, there's a bunch of bugs in here too. Gotta be careful. I don't want to get bit. This dude's like, this dude does hair or something. Well, obviously he does hair, but like, he's got all kinds of like razors in here and stuff. Big old nasty spider here. Let's see if I can pick this out. Oh yeah, look at that. That's like a, what do you call that? The bib that you put around, like a barber's bib, whatever they call that. Gosh, I'm like totally forgetting the names of stuff right now. This is, I'm just like, I'm kind of shocked at like what I'm finding right now. There's another one. It's got like money all over it. This was just somebody's work backpack. Got some sprays there. Got to be glued spray. Got some other spray stuff there. Wow. Is there anything else? That's crazy. Good grief, guys. What are we finding today? Like, this has to be stuff, too, that, like, people are just pillaging out of the backs of, like, vehicles and stuff. I mean, just straight stealing and then just throwing them back in the woods here. Stuff that back in there. We'll go ahead and carry that back. There's no identification on that or anything, but we'll probably just go ahead and at least throw it away. I'm not sitting back here in the woods. Holy cow. Okay. We're back at my house. All right, we're just gonna set those there. Now it's time to go beyond the creek on my property here and let's see, let's see what else we find. I'm now I'm like, geez, you never know. Still hoping maybe we can find a snake. That's kind of the goal. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Got a old beer bottle there. Holy cow, look at this, look at this got more stuff like a woman's what do they call that a compact not a compact I forget what that's called just like a makeup bag here's all the makeup buxom <laughs> what an awesome name for makeup oh check these out oh my heavens Tom Ford is that a good brand oh that might be High Adventures new sunglasses right there, ladies and gentlemen. If they're polarized, we should totally rock these. Oh my goodness, we'll leave those there for now. Okay, holy cow. First off, there is a ton of trash back here. Look at all of this. Look at this. Good grief. Look at this. Like, it is just bags and bags somebody's totally gone through all this just it's like trash bags like somebody was digging through a trash can just pulled out a bunch of bags of stuff came back here and decided to look through it back here good grief yeah, this is a good spot for potential snakes hiding no nope, just a spider and a bunch of ants man i'm gonna have to come back here and clean all this up this is ridiculous Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, check this out. There is another backpack. Look at this. What in the world? What is this? Accounting. Hey, just in case I wanna catch up on a little light reading, I could learn how to become an accountant. Again, this totally looks like somebody stole a backpack, rummaged through it and just threw it back here got paper got calculator what is this ah ibuprofen oh that's still got to be good right maybe we'll keep that i'm teasing seriously though i mean just more junk what is this got another little bag here what is this this is like totally something out of the what is this the 70s 
Oh my goodness, look at this. Keys? Oh my word. Oh no, guys. Somebody's social security card. Obviously, I can't show that, but there's a social security card. It's got someone's name on it. High school diploma. Oh my goodness. We'll have to maybe see if we can find the owner of that. This looks like it's been out here a while, though. I mean, it was pretty far under the leaves there. It's pretty good condition still, though. Oh, hey, check it out. Is that a pen? That's just a pencil. Oh, that's a pen. That's a nice pen. We're keeping that. That's a good score. Wait a second. What's this? Oh, more pens. Highlighters. I think that came out of that backpack, actually. Look at this. Like, I feel rich now. Actually, I feel like this is incredible. There's just... Oh, my gosh. Wait. Oh, my word. There's another backpack over here. There's a purse. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Okay, first off, somebody's been sitting back here drinking beer. This is all on my property too, by the way. Like, this is all on my property. Look at all the beer cans. We got another backpack though. Look at this. I gotta make sure, oh, there's a little frog. Oh my goodness. Backpack. Like school supplies. Someone's knickers, Nike backpack, oops. Some change in the side. Look at this, a purse. Someone's purse, look at this. Michael Kors, it's got a big M on it. Water, fresh and clean, pink, just more. Gotta be kind of careful. Don't know what kind of bugs are in here, if there are any. It's the Advil. Got like another, look at that, another M, Las Vegas. That's the Las Vegas. Wow. Good grief. Ooh, somebody had a chocolate milk. Good for them, good protein. random bucket here I don't know what in the world guys check this out that's a toilet there's a toilet back here there's also some sort of stand like a garage thing who dumps a toilet back here like for real that is the weirdest thing. Okay, no, wait a second. We've got a matching set here. What? Uh, this is a sink, isn't it? <laughs> Check it out. The sink. Look at that. Matching toilet and our sink. Nice, guys. We've got like half a bath or two thirds of a bathroom set. All I need is like a duvet and we're good. Oh, like how, how even, who brings stuff? What is the, what in the world? What is this? I don't even, what in the heavens? What does that say? Kettle heat? First, let's look under here. Nothing. Wait, there's another one right there. Look at this, there's a big old sofa. Big old sofa. And there's another one. What is, what? Is this like a popcorn maker? Look at this thing. I'm gonna see if I can set it up. Oh my goodness, that totally has to be a popcorn maker, right? Look, it like, I don't know what it smells like, but it's leaking water. Oh my word. Is this a popcorn maker? Maybe somebody can tell me. I personally have no idea. It's some sort of cooker or something. It says pump, conditioner, exhaust, light, kettle heat. I see kettle heat and I think like popcorn, but I don't know. There's another one right over here too. 
next to the sofa, which unfortunately is not in great condition or else that would go in the living room. What are people even doing on the back of my property? Like, is somebody getting ready to build something back here? It's got a popcorn maker, sofa, toilet, sink. Like, you're just about set. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy, a shopping cart. From where? Dollar Tree? A Dollar Tree shopping cart? And there's another one over here, too. Good night. Good grief. Oh, we've got... Oh, hey, a trash can. Anything under there? No. Nah. I don't see anything else right now that looks like... It's been, no, hold up one second. We do have something else over here. What is this? What is this? This is a wallet, isn't it? This is a wallet. Look at that. Oh my word. This has ID in it too. Got a Bojangles. Might be able to find this person with the ID. It's got, it's a star card, which is a new thing that they've been coming out with. This is issued, according to this, this was issued back in May. I don't see anything else. Man, what an absolute treasure trove of stuff. I'm not gonna lie guys, like I'm kind of mad because there's just so much trash back here and I'm gonna have to come clean it up. I kind of have a wild idea here. But let's clear some of the vines and stuff away from here. Ugh, look at that. It's a pretty heavy toilet. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm getting kind of a crazy idea. I had somebody show me a post. I think it was like on Snapchat or Instagram or I don't, I don't remember. But it was uh, somebody had made a redneck barbecue out of a toilet. I mean, I mean, it's solid. It's definitely like, not like a plastic toilet. Okay, the lid's plastic. Let's, let's see what kind of condition this is. I mean, the bowl is pretty clean. That's nasty. That's what it's like missing all the stuff in it. Like somebody gutted it. I don't know guys. I'm, I'm almost thinking we have to do this. I think, I think we're gonna take this toilet and I think we're going to make our own barbecue out of this toilet. I'm not even joking you. I mean, it totally seems like something we should do on this channel, right? I mean, this is totally something Micah would do. This feels right. This feels right. We're gonna take this old toilet that somebody just left for dead left to die out here on my property and I think we're going to resurrect it and we are going to give it new life in the form of a barbecue let's do it let's go get some gloves I'm gonna go get some gloves we're gonna haul this thing back we're totally doing this I'm committed now all right we got a cheer wine in tow we're gonna go return this wallet I looked up the, the kids uh, ID and uh, he only lives, he doesn't even live a mile from here. So we're gonna go see if we can get a hold of him. Hopefully catch him before he got, had to go in and get a new ID because that's just a big pain in the butt to go to the DMV. Looks like we're almost there. All right, here we go. This is it. Let's go see if Daniel's home. Does a Daniel live here? I have a wallet that says a Daniel. Two, yeah, I'm the mother. Oh, okay. Here's the story. He lost uh, three weeks ago where he went to work in a parking lot or naming. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the weird stuff is, yeah, they couldn't take money out. I was not happy with the $200, uh, $200 cash what was in the wallet. Okay. Okay. 
and the cut is gone, right? Yeah, that's the all that was in there. Gone. Yeah, all that was all that was in there was his ID. Yeah. Does he still need it? Yeah, that would be nice. Do, okay, yeah. I found it. I found it on the back of my property. Yeah, somebody threw it over the fence onto my we property. The police already and record everything. Okay. And put out as stolen. Okay. Because it showed on his bank account and three hours later they tried to get five hundred dollars. Ah, uh, okay, or yeah. Something like that. I don't know if I was late or not, but I thought if he can avoid but going to the DMV, awesome, that would be good. Still good people like yeah, that. absolutely. Yes. Nice to see you. Well, that went all right, I guess. Apparently he lost it three weeks ago, so I don't know if he's been to the DMV since then or not to get it replaced. I don't know, but uh, don't know if that was very helpful at this point, but we tried anyway. Now we gotta go see if we can't uh, figure out who the Mac book belongs to here. All right, we're back with some gloves this time. Guys, classic southern style, starting to rain. I think this is easily like the third or fourth video where I've started out and it's like sunny, then all of a sudden we just get like a small downpour. I have to say it's pretty nice though, cools everything off and uh, means you don't have to own a sprinkler system, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do actually, I'm gonna set you guys down. We're gonna move our toilet out here. Let it get rinsed out naturally. There we go. Come on, rain on it. Clean it out. There's been no thunder or lightning, guys. May as well just embrace the rain. Ah. When it rains in the south, it doesn't mess around. Oh, I feel like something out of Shawshank Redemption here. Oh. All right, so you guys remember what the creek looked like when we were just hunting it like 30 minutes ago. Check it out now. Look at that. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, it's gone up probably like three feet. It is absolutely raging. Like, I could probably put my kayak in here and kayak out of the neighborhood. We got done hunting just in time, that's for sure. Woo! All right, so the rain has finally stopped. It actually rained hard for like an hour and a half. I kind of thought it would just blow over pretty quickly, but we got some really, really heavy rain. In fact, you could see here, look at how much water has accumulated uh, in our toilet here. So. It's pretty well rinsed down, fortunately, though. Let's we'll get some of these sticks and stuff out. Got some Lysol here. Obviously, we gotta clean it out because we're not animals. So we're just gonna use some that for the bowl. Now I've got some 409 multi-surface cleaner. Just spray it all down liberally. Actually, I don't know why I'm spraying this down. We'll take the lid off. So mostly like the bowl, the outside of the bowl since we don't know where this has been. Well, okay, it's been in the woods and it was in someone's house at some point. So we just wanna get it all nice and clean here. Actually, you know, let's take this. Can we take this off? There we go, now it's coming off. There we go, take the lid off, toss it over there. We'll take care of all that later. Take some more of our four and I, we're just gonna absolutely soak this thing in cleaner. I don't care if it's cooking surface or not. There we go. That's good. Now we take our scrubber. I'm just gonna scrub this whole thing here. Oh yeah. The inside of the bowl, the outside, the rim, the body. I don't care. We're scrubbing it all. Foam it up. All right, our grill 
has been thoroughly clean. So now we go ahead and give it a good rinse down. Oh yeah. Man, you could just about resell this thing. Anybody need a toilet? I got one. Check that out, guys. I think our redneck grill is ready for some fish. Well, the rain has finally completely stopped. Our grill, though, is looking quite nice. Very clean. Definitely uh, ready for some food, I think. So I think what we're gonna do is, since it got a little later and the rain delayed us, I'm gonna wait. We're gonna go fishing tomorrow. That's gonna give me some time to kind of think about what I want to prepare on our redneck grill for the first time. We're gonna think about that tonight and then get after some fish tomorrow and uh, then get grilling. So see you guys in the morning. Happy next day, YouTube fam. So here's the story. I actually went out earlier today and tried to get uh, some trout in the lower Saluda River. I went and fished the river for the first time and it was super weedy. So I was unsuccessful. The only fish I caught actually uh, was a big shell cracker, but it was full of eggs. So I decided to let it go. Oh, let's say hi to our cat here. Hey Tessa, how you doing kitty? You wanna go fish with me tonight? Now? Yeah, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to having coffee at night. This is definitely a little bit of a new experience for me, but I don't know if those fish are gonna be even biting tonight or what time they bite. Sometimes they're like bite windows with these stripers. So gotta have a little, little fuel in the tank here to keep us awake just in case we're out late. Here we go guys. There's our bait for the night. Fresh, dead airing. All right guys, we are out here at the Pillars of Fact. Let me swing the GoPro around. You can see this is one of the towers. I always call it the Pillars, but all the locals call it the Towers. It gets like 180 feet deep here. It's one of the deepest parts in the lake. All right guys, check that out. We have our Carolina rig complete with bead and I put I like to be, put like half a herring on there I don't usually put the whole one and I've had way more success with cut bait than live bait recently anyway so we're just gonna take this we're gonna drop it over the side we're gonna start this rod probably at about 40 feet and then we'll drop another one probably around about 50 or 60 we'll kind of figure out what depth these fish are at here there we go rod number two Guys, I have found chumming, for me anyway, to be very, very successful. So I always buy at least double, if not triple, the amount of bait that I would regularly need. Cut it all up just like that. We just start sprinkling it over the side, all around the boat. Look at that. That's good chum right there. Is it there? It's not what I think it is, is it? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, check this out. Look what was swimming all the way out here. It's a baby turtle. Check that out. He's got like a little snout on him. What kind of turtle would that be? I almost feel like we should keep him on the boat. That way uh, he doesn't get et, but probably just heading over here to the piling. So we'll set him free over by the piling, see if he makes it. But pretty dangerous to be swimming all the way out here, little dude. Head over to the piling there. Got one finally. There we go. 
up, guys. Shoot. Finally, there you go. Probably about 15 inches long. Not very big. Finally, at like 12:30 at night, we finally get one. So got the skunk out of the boat. Hopefully, there are more where that came from. It's a little bit bigger too. Oh, I'm, uh... Oh my goodness, what time is it? Oh my gosh, it's three o'clock in the morning. I am the last one here at the Pillars, so I'm the dumb one. I only ever saw one other boat pull a fish in. It's just been, just been not a good night. It seems like this place is either on fire or it's dead. There's no, there's no middle ground. Let's go ahead and head on back get whatever kind of sleep we can for the rest of the night and get ready to grill up on our redneck barbecue. We actually have some fish for it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Actually, I'll see you guys later today. Let me see you later. Four hours of sleep and a Red Bull is all we need to function here at High Adventure Videos. All right, so I was taking a look here, and one thing kind of just jumped out at me, and that is the fact that I actually don't have a grill grate um, for the actual grill. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna head back into the woods here, and I actually have a little saw here that cuts through metal, and I'm gonna find that little grate uh, shelf thingy majigger and we're gonna cut a section off of that and hopefully use that as our grill. Look at that, like some baskets on there. There we go, guys. <laughs> I think that's gonna be perfect. Let's go see if it fits on our grill. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh yeah. Almost like a glove. There you go. That will work. Actually, you know what, I might just flip it over just like that. Now it's got like little sides there to it. That way your meat doesn't fall off. Boom, you could probably actually get those screws and screw it back down right there in those holes. There you go guys, redneck barbecue grill one step closer to completion. All right, time to go ahead and clean our only fish of the night. So I've spoken with a few guys since fishing yesterday when I got out of the water and this morning and They've both told me that usually when you get a big rain, you want to wait at least a couple days before going back out because it can really throw the fishing off. So, good fishing lesson for the future. Hey, Bella Bee. Hi. Should we see if this fishy's eating anything? Yes, please. All right, let's first get that. Gut. Get the uh, ribs out there. We cut up just a little bit off of the skin to try to leave a lot of that bloodline behind. Let's see if we did a good job. Yeah, that's not bad. You can see the bloodline's still there. We'll go ahead and just make a small incision there. Get rid of the rest of that right there. All right, Bella, I don't know. I don't see much anything. We'll try here, let's see. Papa was throwing chum last night. Let's see if he ate any of it. There might be something in there. Oh, there is, there's a tiny bit of chum. Oh, two pieces. Two little pieces of chum Papa threw down there. That's the herring I was throwing out to try to bring them in. Oh, and there's another one? Uh, I don't see any more. That was it. So he only had two little nibbles before he bit my hook. Pretty cool, huh? Is he stinky? A stinky old girl. <laughs> Is he a boy or a girl? Uh, you know, I don't know. We'll say he's a boy. A girl. <laughs> okay. I see he's a girl. Okay. That's all right. Got two nice pieces ready for our grill there, Bella. Sweet. Yeah, our, um, our grill pot. 
our grill potty, yes. Yes, indeed. Let's go ahead next, find some kindling here. Hopefully find some stuff that's dry. There's definitely plenty of it back here. There we go. Put some of that in there. Some more sticks. Put them over top. Everything seems pretty well dried out from yesterday, so that's good. The nice thing about this bowl is I won't have to worry about the wind affecting the fire. So really, you can just carry a toilet around with you, and even in windy conditions, it'd get protection from the wind. Go ahead and clean the rim off. Keep a tidy workspace. There we go. All right, moment of truth here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Okay, it started. It started. There we go. So far, so good. So far, so good. Keep spreading. Let's go get some bigger pieces of wood here. Oh yeah, Bella, now we're cooking. Look at that. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Let's get some bigger pieces in there. All right, got some more wood here. Wow, guys. That looks pretty excellent. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and put our grill grate on. Let's move this wood here. In fact, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna throw a couple more pieces on. There we go. Go ahead and slide our grate on there. And let that start warming up. You know, I think I'm gonna go grab me a chair, actually. All right. There we go. Ah. Brought my tools with me. Remember, oh, cleanliness first. I think that porcelain's cracking. Uh-oh, guys, mayday. Our toilet's falling apart. Look at that. It's a big hole right in the porcelain there. If we want to cook, we better do it fast. Fortunately, this shouldn't take too long to cook. And then right across, just like that. There we go. So for this recipe, I've just used a little New Orleans Cajun seasoning, a little Cajun striper, and then I rubbed them down with a little canola oil. There we go. Nothing like a nice hot grill on a nice hot day. It's like 90 degrees out. It's a little overcast. Got a nice burma coals in there. The bottom's really starting to fall out on this thing. You know, they just don't make toilets like they used to, you know? Back in my day, you could grill and roast and smoke all from the comfort of your bathroom. Now look at this, this cheap junk. Can't even make a decent grill out of it. What a shame. All right, guys, I think these are done. Perfect timing too. I don't know how much longer that toilet's gonna last. It's pretty well busted up here. Check this out, let me show you guys the toilet here. Look at that, you can see down there, it's busted through. Look at that. What a shame. Perfectly good toilet, you only get one good grill out of it. That's too bad. All right. A little Cajun grilled striper. You know, I'm gonna make sure there's no porcelain in this. Oh my, there's a little bit right there. There we go. A little Cajun grilled striper. Oh, lost a piece. Bon Appetit. That's good. I like that Cajun seasoning. You want a bite? Yes, please. Yeah, I'll give you a little bite. It's kind of spicy. Okay. I like spicy. Do you? Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Mm. That pretty good? Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Mm. So, guys, I meant to say this backpack. I was looking through it. This is the one with the MacBook and everything in it. And as I was shuffling through it, I was trying to figure out how in the world do I find out whose this is? Then I remembered there were two little notes in the bottom of the backpack. And the notes said, were, were basically thank you notes. And right on the bottom of these notes here, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that or not, but you see that right there? It says Starbucks. 
and he has two of them in here. It says Dawn. Basically two thank you notes addressed to Dawn, both from Starbucks. So what I did is I called the Starbucks. It's about a mile from here. And I asked them, hey, does this guy work here? And the lady said, yeah, he does. And I said, well, can you tell him? I found his backpack with a bunch of stuff in it. She said, he's not working today, but I'll call him now. And then about 10 minutes later, Dawn gives me a call, says, man, I was just told you found my backpack. Thank you so much. He said, I'm out of town right now. When can I meet you to get this? He said, I'll be back in Thursday, which is tomorrow. So we are going to meet the guy who lost his backpack. Apparently what he told me uh, through text message, he said somebody broke the side window in his car and actually took this out of his car. Now, I don't know why they didn't take any of the valuable stuff out. I'm thinking maybe it was just somebody trying to look for some quick cash, didn't want to bother trying to pawn all this stuff. I don't know, but it's nothing short of a miracle in my opinion. So we're going to meet Dawn tomorrow, get the backpack back to him, and uh, have a happy ending, I guess. So that's pretty cool, pretty crazy. So that is what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're gonna finish off this fish, which was cooked to perfection, if I do say so myself. Mm, no porcelain in that bite, that's good. Here's what I would say, if you're gonna cook fish, over your toilet you only get one shot at it number one and wrap the fish in foil because i see a few specks of porcelain on the meat and so now i've got to like pick through and make sure there's nothing on there so i'm not crunching into porcelain toilet so if you're gonna grill on your toilet make it count the first time because there's probably not gonna be a second time good morning youtube fam all right we're gonna go meet the owner of the backpack Get him back his stuff. So just as an extra safety precaution, he was able to identify several of the items in the backpack without like me asking like, hey, are these MacBook and earbuds yours kind of a thing? So um, he identified the hat, um, the little baggy and stuff like that. So this is definitely him, not just some random person hoping to claim a bunch of free stuff all right here we are looks like our guy's here i'm guessing you must be donovan yeah dude do you mind me asking what what happened this what? is actually the funniest part is um this bag was actually taken right in the parking lot right over there oh no kidding Window. Oh my goodness, uh, dude. I've been using cardboard and stuff, but regardless oh, of the window man. and like, can't even use insurance to cover it right now. This oh, bag, shoot. I've had it since, um, man, seventh, eighth grade. No kidding. And, uh, it's just not, dude, all my name tags. And all yeah, my man. Like, I cannot believe that you even found the bag, much less everything like, else in it. Dude, yeah. That is just in, like. Was, let me ask you, was there any, is there anything missing in there? Do you mind me asking? Because I mean, like, like, to me, all the valuable stuff is still in there. Was, that's what I was saying. It's yeah. Like, well, I don't know what this guy was on or what he wanted. Besides uh, <laughs> all, all of my good stuff, like all my Sharpies and stuff. Um, yeah. All my cash. Like, I, I, I had just pulled out some cash. I was yeah. to pay a bill. Like, getting money order and everything. Yeah. Uh, so, was there cash in the in there? Yeah, there was like oh, 50 so, bucks in here. Oh, so he took some money then. in there. Oh, okay. Oh, so, that's what he was after. But, see, that's a crazy thing because, like, a MacBook... How, how, do you mind me asking, how much are those AirPods worth? $250. Holy cow. $800 MacBook. And oh like, my goodness. I don't want to say it was easy and ripe for the taking, but. Right. Man, that's it. Like, yeah, you know, seriously. Like, like, I feel things. like, like I oh, feel oh. like it's one of those things, like, like the least amount of damage. Like, if you were to, if, if you're about to get robbed, like, would you rather have somebody take like $80 in cash right. or like over a thousand dollars worth of stuff because i mean like you've got to have photos and all kinds of stuff on the macbook like, and stuff too i hate to say like everything like all my music everything. yeah how long ago did it what was it stolen uh, literally um today's thursday a week yeah. ago a week ago a week ago moved to the parking lot it's the first movie in two years so oh my word and, uh, what'd you see do you mind me asking the escape room movie oh I yeah know. yeah yeah so when i was telling everybody about this on instagram guys you could see like it was kind of as i started to explain it 
I was like, this seems hard to believe because there are YouTubers, right. like they've gotten famous by finding a few crazy things, mm -hmm. but then now all of a sudden they're finding I like, know. hey, I found a gold brick at the mm -hmm. bottom of this canal that's worth 200. And it's like, whatever. You just find people, just anything. Like, oh, I found a new iPhone just right there. It's right, like right. There is a lot of, I feel like staged mm -hmm. stuff on YouTube. So I was like, I've got to be able to capture all this to show people like, I did not yeah. break this man's car window. Dude, you got really lucky because I found the backpack and then like three hours later we got that really we got a really heavy rain i guess you weren't in town mm -hmm. and the and the river came up and it would have totally flooded your backpack and everything so i mean like everything just mm -hmm. happened just perfectly i got a job when i was like 14 and i saved up uh 200 i got the backpack yeah and then i just kept going saved up 800 dollars, got the laptop nice 250 it's like ah like like these years and years and years i've just been like getting this bag and putting cool stuff in it and then to find out that one day yeah. Bag is gone. Okay, all. so what's the deal with the bag? Because somebody on Instagram told me they're like, dude, I would expect somebody to have nice stuff in a bag like that. Yeah. What's up with the bag? Uh, it's called a Fjall Raven. It's a Swedish company. Oh, okay. And, you know, just like uh, all in Sweden, it's all raining, it's always cold, and yeah. everything they have to do is pretty hiking ready. So this okay. is the uh, G1000 material that they use. Okay. It's, um, besides being really, really good at being waterproof, it's just durable. Like I said, I've had this backpack for like over six years and it's just wow. like getting torn like i said i see this and i'm like oh that's a light day like <laughs> I, I, I've, I've dropped it off mountains I've, actually, like, I've dropped it in rivers and stuff and it just comes out like every time dude and then i was like oh it can't survive being stolen <laughs> survive being stolen man first dude that, that you gotta like keep that backpack for like, oh, like you know to put that in a case percent. or something like that when it's time to retire it no, and be like a thousand percent like I said, <laughs> also my hat like i said flip turn uh amazing band i discovered them when they were like three listeners in oh no kidding and, I go and watch all their shows now. I'm watching them in Asheville uh, in September. Oh, cool. That's the one thing they didn't take is, uh, is my longboard. Oh my goodness, <laughs> dude. Oh, man. Oh, whoo. That looks like a nice longboard, it too. It is, and that's why I was like, I can't believe they just looked over that. <sighs> man, got, like, this has to be like the stupidest like person like they must have been on something like, when they broke into the car because like they like, took literally like everything but like the kayak paddles <laughs> all the fun stuff like yeah i had a kayak on there and i know you can't just run away with it but right. that's where the money's at well that well like even like all your stuff i was like you could have at least gone to a pawn shop and gotten more than the 80 or 100 bucks yeah. that you stole there like but maybe that's what i don't know if you have to like give your information at a pawn shop that's so maybe somebody's just like no nah, the cash is good i'm done man. donovan man like nice to meet you good luck hopefully your 2020 starts to turn around from here i feel like you hit the bottom you got your stuff back it's like i feel like it's going to end with a bang now Literally. you know take it easy man yeah absolutely well youtube fam what an absolutely amazing way to end this video it has been a crazy last few days the fishing wasn't exactly fantastic but we did score the sweet sunglasses which i'm pretty sure are unisex to be honest i kind of look like batman sidekick robin here i feel like somebody tell me i'm wrong oh my goodness thank you guys for hanging out with me the last few days hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always i will see you in the next one